All right, I'm back up here in Ozark. It's getting kind of late. I gotta be quick. Remember this nuke from last week is the one that we put the second box on. And I wanna show you quickly. I haven't been through it, but I did peek in the bit. That it's looking really strong and healthy. But I wanna pull a couple of those frames out that we I put in last week and see if they're building out on it. Um, see all the bees in there. They're just going crazy. So let me just peek in here real quick. I can't take a lot of time doing this. how calm they are. I'm gonna smoke them though, because I'm about to do this barehanded. So I'm just curious to see how they've done this week. I did put some food out on them last week, if you'll remember. Um, and so what we have here, these are the frames I believe right here on the outside that I put in. These were empty frames. Now I did, these were some frames that have been used that the wax has been scraped off on and I didn't do anything to recycle them and see what they're doing here. They are building a little comb on it, but it's this wonky comb here, which I don't like to see necessarily. Um, so I probably just need to get some new frames up here that are waxed and they'll probably be more likely to draw those out. But look at all the bees. This thing is looking great. They have moved right on up in this second box without any trouble. Looks like every frame has some bees on it. See, they're extending the frames that had stuff on them. They're extending that out. Look at this. So, read down at the bottom. I'm probably going to split this hive as soon as I think it's, I just don't think it's quite time yet. Um, we usually have a cold snap. Yeah, this next frame over there doing the same thing. This is another one that had just, I didn't process this frame. Yeah, they're building that weird comb out on it because I just didn't recycle it or put a wax coating on it. See there? Uh, I really don't like to see that, but um, basically building drone comb. If you look closely in those cells, you might be able to see some eggs. So this hive is on the verge of having a bunch of drones. I have seen that side, they're building out really nice. So what I may do is scrape that, come off the other side, and maybe they'll just draw it out properly. You can see they're, they're booming up in, they've moved right up into this box. And uh, let's pull out one more frame. Remember, what we did was, we took the bottom box we took, we left the outside middle and outside frame down there and put two empty frames in there, second and fourth slot. And then up here we did the opposite. We had empty frames, first, third, and fifth slot. Ah, that one just got me, tried to get me. Stinger sticking out, but didn't quite get me. Um, so this next frame over, oh, they're getting, they are getting ticked off a little bit. Let me just frame them a little more. All right. They're building this out really fat. I need to get some, I'm just running out of time though. I need to get some different frames in here, but see there. You can see, if you look down there, you can see the white larva that are being formed. That will soon be capped. The other side, same story. So that, um, some eggs down in there, I think, on that side. Anyway, they're working on it. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I just wanted to show you guys, give you a little update on how this was doing. The video I did on this last week got a lot of views and I do appreciate it. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little update. So I'm gonna go through these hives real quick. It's getting late. Uh, I'm gonna peek in on all of them, probably won't go through them much. And then I'm gonna treat them, hopefully, get out of here pretty quick. So I appreciate y'all watching the videos uh, that I put out. I appreciate if you subscribe. Okay, real quick, I'm sorry. I uh, hope if you're still watching, this will be a little bonus here. This hive last week, after I got done going through this big one over here and, and adding that box, I looked in here and there were some of these bees that were about this, this hive is about to starve. There were little bees with their little tails sticking out, not doing well. 
Um, so I kind of panicked or I, I thought about it a minute and I went over to uh, Walmart. Not, it's uh, two or three miles from here, I think, or so, give or take. And uh, I also can remember last week I thought this hive was gonna die out. There's the queen right there. You can see her right in the middle. Go. Anyway, um, these hive, this hive was looked like it was going to starve out. I was real worried about it, so I went to Walmart. I bought some sugar, just some dry sugar. Now, like I said, I did put some feed iron on these bees last week, and um, I went down a few hives and I found a hive that had some honey in it and some food in it, and I stuck that in here a frame of that. I don't remember if I put some brood in here. I must have because there are a bunch of bees in here, more than there were. And so I must have put um, some brood. This I think is the frame right here that had the honey in it because it still got some honey in it. So I'm excited about this. They are survived. I thought I was going to lose them. I just sprinkled a little sugar on top, put a frame of honey in here. Must have been some brood too, because I don't think there were this many bees in here. There wasn't a whole lot of brood, if I remember correctly. And uh, they are really just, they're gonna be strong and do well. So yeah, there's a bunch of milk brood or some baby larvae hatched down in there. I'm excited about this. I thought I'd come up today and this hive would be dead, but I'm gonna go ahead and feed them. I've got a jar of sugar water ready. See, there's not, there's only about two good solid frames of bees and so it's got some growing to do, but this time of the year they should do okay. All right, that is it for now on this video. Uh, hopefully, if you kept watching, you got a little bonus here. Uh, but I'm going to sign off for now on the next video.